Welcome to Learn Biology and we're still on the topic of organic chemistry and today we're discussing carbohydrates. So let's start with the name carbohydrates to figure out what carbohydrates are made out of. So we see here in the name that it has carbohydrates. So carbo means carbon, hydrates mean hydrogen and oxygen. So carbohydrates are made out of three prime elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And what carbohydrates are, are sugars and starches, starches meaning like potatoes and uh, pasta and all, and what they're used for is energy. They're the most versatile and diverse form of energy and the primary source of energy in cells. What they do is generate ATP which is ATP which is a form of energy known as adenine triphosphate and what it's used for is instant energy so instant. But now there are three main forms of carbohydrates and there are monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. And just a tip, like we said earlier, carbohydrates are made out of simple sugars and all sugars end in O's. That's just a little thing to remember, a primary biology tip right there. Sugar equal O's. But let's get started. So monosaccharides. Monosaccharides are the simplest carbohydrates. So simple. So just sim. And what they are are composed of four to six carbons. And some examples include glucose and fructose. As we saw earlier in the uh, back video, uh, the introduction to organic chemistry, fructose is a monomer, and that's what you see here, monosaccharides, meaning simple sugars. So these two are simple sugars. And what monosaccharides are, are building blocks for other bigger carbohydrates. So some other examples of monosaccharides include ribose, and note something here, like we said earlier, the endings, os. All sugars end in os. But this is just another type of sugar found in DNA. And then there's deoxyribose, also found in DNA. Uh, this is actually found in RNA, but we'll discuss that later on. So when monosaccharides are built together, they form disaccharides, and note the uh, prefix here, di, di meaning two saccharides. So what they are, are two monosaccharides, and here are some examples. This is lactose right here, and what lactose is made out of is a simple sugar glucose and galactose so galact galact and then ose here we have sucrose a disaccharide which is this is table sugar so this is table sugar and it is bonded glucose gluc plus fructose and here we have maltose which is found in alcoholic beverages and it is glucose plus another glucose but the point here is that disaccharides are slightly larger than monosaccharides and they're two monosaccharides bonded together so the third type of carbon that we have is called polysaccharide and what poly means is 
many so many and these are known as true carb carbohydrates true carbohydrates and these are the carbs that provide high amounts of energy and here are some examples starch is a carbohydrate made up of hundreds of glucose molecules hundreds of glucose hooked together and they for example in a potato we have hundreds of glucose uh, bonded together and they provide energy when eaten glycogen is a starch with extensions so if we have a glucose here for example then it would have branches coming off then another glucose connected but simply it is a starch with branches and this is usually known as animal starch animals and this provides energy in animals uh, long-term energy that is then we have cellulose this is what makes up grass and plants and they are it is indigestible it has thousands of glucose uh, molecules bonded together making it indigestible by human beings but uh, this is a very complicated carbon and it makes up plants then we have this called chitin and it makes up the shells of insects if you've ever you know just crushed a bug taken its life and you hear that crunch that's the chitin and it's a it what it does is make up the shell of an insect like a beetle or something it is the exoskeleton so exoskeleton and that's what make up carbohydrates so thank you for watching learn biology and we'll be going into different types of reactions in organic chemistry see you next time